Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to cover a basic function. So if you're a uh, intermediate or pro OpenSCAD user, or even if you've been using it for just a couple of days, this is probably not for you. So this is gonna be a keyhole opening. You can see it here. And this is my mock power strip. Um, and this is a keyhole opening with a detent for the head. So um, this, uh, came into play as I was trying to add fun more functionality for my project box. I'm kind of making this project box library thing. I don't know. Um, but I thought it'd be neat to be able to, to hang it on a wall with, with the keyhole thing. So I thought this made a pretty good module and I thought I'd, I'd share on how to make it. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So to start with, I've opened a new document and we're going to start by just adding a module and it's going to we're going to call it the keyhole module and it's going to take one parameter called thickness and this would be the thickness of the bottom of, of whatever case case or object you're adding this to uh, within the keyhole module we're going to have two variables screw diameter and and that's going to we're going to set that to three and we'll just copy this down and add head. So there's a screw head and a screw. Uh, so those are the variables we're going to use. And next thing we're going to do is um, make a call to the keyhole mount so we can render as we go. So this is how to call a module. So keyhole, oops, module, not module, module, and uh, semicolon. So that will call the module. It's not going to render anything yet because we don't have any objects. Um, so now we're gonna add some circles. So OpenSCAD has a 2D uh, render or 2D engine, and I I like to use it sometimes because it uh, sometimes makes things easier easier to understand. Um, I can't tell you what that decision process is because it's just as I go. So we're gonna uh, create a circle with the radius of our screw diameter, and we're gonna center it. And you'll see that that creates a circle right at the center of uh, right at the center of our module. And you'll notice right away that it's set to, to number five faces. So I'm going to add uh, face numbering right in this in the call, so it's always um, a more reasonable number of faces for this module. We're going to add a second circle right below that, and it, it's the exact same thing, but we're going to translate this one. Uh, Yes, we're gonna translate this one. I'm gonna do that right away. Translate. And it's gonna be in the X direction, the distance of the screw head. I'm not outside, that's my clock. Okay, so now we have two and we're gonna make a hull out of these to create their basic shape. So all you have to do is enclose both, enclose both of these around the hull command, or inside the hull command. And you see that's our hull. And now we're gonna add a third circle. And we're just gonna copy, uh, for the third one, we're gonna create copy this one here. And this one's gonna end up being the, the access point for the screw head. So we meet, to make the screw head fit through here, we have to change the size of this. So it's gonna be the screw head diameter divided by two to get a radius. And you see now that starting to look like a keyhole. Um, now, we could you could leave it here. Uh, I want it at the far end. I'm not sure why, but I like it better. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna translate it down to the far end there. And uh, I, I probably had a reason when I originally created it. I'm not remembering why. So let's just assume I had a good reason. Um, so that's our basic keyhole shape. So now we're going to give this three dimensions. First, let me tab this over one. We're going to give this three dimensions by using a linear extrude. And we're going to extrude it the thickness of um, our, our model that's calling it. So we're gonna use a thickness argument that we sent in. So now it actually has 
uh, but we didn't give it a, a thickness yet, so it went giant. Um, so let's give this a thickness of say two units. So like the bottom of the case might be two millimeters. So that that's our thickness of two millimeters. And we're gonna leave it as the full thickness because otherwise later on, um, this face would coincide with the face of the detent we're gonna add. Um, so when we add the detent, that'll over, overlap it sufficiently. So the last thing we're gonna do to this piece of, of the object is we're gonna translate it uh, in the Z direction by a small amount. And the reason is, is um, OpenSCAD doesn't like uh, faces that are coincident. So if you have one face right on top of the other, it draws it poorly. So we're just gonna move it in, in the Z direction down by 0 0.01. So I've named this piece the keyhole cutout, and the next bit we're gonna do is the detent. And we can start out the detent by just copying this section of code. So we're gonna copy the, uh, the linear extrude in the hull, and we have to finish off the bracketing for the linear extrude and tab it over. And then the, to make this the shape we want, this is gonna be just the screw head diameter in both cases. So the one circle is gonna be a screw head diameter here, and then the second one's a screw head diameter here. So let's change both of these. And that should do it, yep. So now you see we have our detent, but it's overlapping. So we have to translate this up by half of the whole thickness. So we're gonna grab this translate, and we're gonna get rid of the minus one. And we're gonna go up in the Z direction thickness divided by two. We'll add the final bracket and render it. So now you can see we've got most of our cutout finished. The next thing we wanna do is, you see we have the detent is the same shape or same size as the bottom of the keyhole. And if you notice in my model, I have the detent is slightly larger. Um, and that's just for clearance. So what we're gonna do is to the circle diameters, we're just gonna add one, uh, let's see, an, eight, an eighth of the, of the screw head diameter. So we're just gonna add a little bit of a lip to it. So instead of divided by two, we'll make it, and let's see, I think maybe divided by eight is what I did in the end. Yeah, I did, I, yeah so it's a very tiny amount divided by eight and let's add this to the bottom one as well. So it's screw head di diameter plus an eighth of that diameter. So it makes it just, you know, just a little bit, a little bit larger. Um, so it's a proper detent. So I think that is the last thing we do before we, uh, so the, the very last thing I wanna do is make a union out of these two shapes. So that when I um, difference it, it's, it's a single child. Okay. So to properly test it now, I'm gonna copy over from my sample, I'm just gonna copy over this code block here. So we're not, we're not gonna type through this as much, but just sort of demo it. We'll copy where it was at. And let's get rid of, let's get rid of the linear array and That'll be good. So you'll see we've got the keyhole. What'd we do? What'd I do wrong? Key oh, keyhole module. This should have been mount. Sorry about that. So you see I've subtracted it, one from each end of this uh, mock object. And then you'll notice what I added, um, one of my modules is a simple one that anybody could create, it's not mine but I created it for myself, I should say. So I create a linear extrude, linear array, and then I use that by calling the linear array. I'll show you how to do that a little bit better. So the linear array, so it's, I want two occurrences, and I just, I, I want the distance of the first one to be 15. Um, so you see it's, it creates two occurrences instead of instead of having to make a copy of this and translate it separately. So you could also do, I think three, and it's, you know, it's not, it's not super robust, but it's a little less code maybe. I don't know, tell me if you like it. 
So I'm going to do another linear array down here. Down here. And there you have our basics, what we did. So you'll see here, um, when I zoom way out, you can see that artifact thing going on. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you if you are able to use this or if it's helpful. And if you, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, make sure you subscribe and share the channel so that others can. And also, there's a little alarm bell on YouTube that if you click it, it'll notify you when there's new ones. So thanks and have a great day.